We've received some questions about guardian litems. So I'm Heather O'Connor from O'Connor Family Law, and we're gonna get those questions answered for you. What does a GAL look for? I've served as a GAL, so I'm only going to speak from my own experience. What I'm looking for are really, what are the facts that aren't just he said, she said? What can be backed up by documentation, by other evidence, so I can figure out who's probably telling more of the truth and where the holes are. Then it's a matter of what's just the reality of the situation. You know, parent A might want the kids all the time, but that's just not practical based on their situation. Then we're also looking at what other types of investigations have been done. DCF, is there any social work out there? You know, are there anything else that another neutral third party might have looked at and what kind of weight should be given to that? Are there issues of domestic violence, substance abuse, you know, unhealthy situations or an unhealthy environment that would not be conducive to raising a child in a healthy situation? So all of that is gonna be taken into consideration as well as what the parents say. I always look for people make mistakes. You know, nobody's perfect, people screw up, but do you take responsibility for that? Do you own that? And what's your plan to make sure that doesn't happen again? So that's something that I would look for as I go through a GAL investigation. Every GAL is gonna be a little bit different. Everybody is going to have their own things that they really look for in an investigation. So the best thing you can do is again, have a discussion with your lawyer and come up with a plan.